I'm not here. In fact, I'm not even prepared. I meant to move that one. You shouldn't have seen that one first. I'm not here because I've gone to London to see the poppies at the Tower of London. But I didn't want you to be twiddling your thumbs, waiting for me. You might be glad I'm not here. You might be thinking, oh, thank goodness for that. We don't have to read her drivel anymore. Um, I was going to show you the pages I've made for my swaddling band ledger. And I was going to start at the beginning. But as you probably know already, plans and me don't go together but anyway i'm not going to tell you about process or anything like that but basically in simply stitch 5 i'm continuing this ledger that i started in simply stitch 4 and it's concerned with making a swaddling band so like i said i'm not going to tell you any of the process but i'm just going to show you on camera the different pages and um, that i've got so far it's not really a ledger because they're not joined but they are cohesive they're going to be mounted and um, with slip slider things at top and bottom and then they'll be better protected so that's my first page okay that's not my second page <laughs> so i'm useless my second page is down here this is my second page okay now this is a bit of a problem because this is a double-sided page i had them in a ledger initially and then decided i wanted them out of a ledger that's the second page can you see I'm just going to come to the back yeah and then that turned over and that was the third page so I need to come up with some kind of wonderful idea as to how to get that mounted without the, the back page being forgotten and then there's this page you'll remember all these from my blog anyway so that's that page that's upside down and that's like two pages there's that page and then that page okay and that goes over there and then there's this one which i think is possibly my favorite of any page i've ever made this one okay i'm going to come behind the camera again and have a look yeah you can see that the sun's having a funny turn doesn't know whether to come out or not so that's that one and then there's that one that i kept hiding from you that isn't actually probably finished yet and you might think well, what else can you put on there but i think i need to edge these letters in somewhere to define them a bit more but apart from that so that's all my pages my swaddling band ledger now it's not a lot of pages i'll acknowledge that it's not a lot of pages in and of itself but i do think it's quite a substantial body of work and one that i'm more 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 than happy with i <coughs> I love blue and white, I've always had a thing about blue and white and it's since I was a little girl and my nana used to iron the blue transfers onto white cloths to embroider on, do you remember those? And ever since then I've loved blue and white um, and in the very early stages, if you went on my old blog, Contemporary Embroidery, on that blog, very very early stages, well throughout that actually and throughout this blog, blue and white has always been a theme, it's always been there, um, so it's really blue and white is what's got me in terms of grabbing hold of my insides and my heart it's blue and white and it's memories of my nana i suppose my nana is my grandma um so it's just something that's always been with me and will continue through everything i do i'm sure even though i might divert and work with liberty fabric sometimes uh do things like bling you know beads and shiny things blue and white is what i'm about really i'm a blue and white at heart cut me through the middle and i'd be blue and white in there i'm sure so just a very brief sh like look for you anyway at that video at that ledger pa those ledger pages just because i'm not here i'm off in london gallivanting and looking at poppies at the tower of london and you'll have another video tomorrow but don't ask me what it'll be because i haven't decided yet okie doke